Alrighty guys, my trailer is done. Um, finished the Rhino coating on it. I uh, wasn't able to put the new wheels on unfortunately because they didn't fit right. Um, I did was able to make a tailgate for it so that way I have a tailgate in the winter. Um, but I used the bed lines actually pretty nice. Um, okay, I'm good. I used the Duplicolor truck bed coating stuff. Um, I used about two cans of those just to do the job. Worked out pretty good. I used the stuff before. It's pretty much gas oil resistant, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah. Then I cleaned up my shop a little bit. Some, some new flooring over there. And stuff. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to be getting a new motor. Um, I have a one of my dad's friends, he's got a Toro 24 inch snowblower, uh, this is his old motor. I uh, blew the uh, piston, the connection rod, then he also blew uh, the first, the oil slinger let go first, and then um, it started revving really high, and then he just blew the, uh, the rod right off. And then this right here is actually the motor mount, uh, it's only the first coat of paint on, or second coat. That's the top part of it. Um, but yeah, the guy is going to get a nice 7.5 uh, Intex bridge. Uh, this one right here. I didn't order it from Northern Tool because they're a little bit more um, because they didn't have one with an electric start. Um, I go order from like Telsa Engines or something like that for around like 4 or 4 yeah, 489 I think I paid for it. Um, so Intex Plus looks like this pretty much, pretty similar. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll probably do a video of that, of me um, putting the motor on. But yeah, that's my trailer finally done. Uh, I just needed to get it done before winter so I could put my snow shovels and crap in it for winter when I do the uh, other people's houses. Um, I'll go outside and show you the, um, the other snow blower. That's another customer I'm working on, one of my other dad's friends. Uh, needs a new chain link underneath it. The chain seat in it. As you can see right there, that's the chain, it's just all seized up to pieces. It's pretty wild. It's all rusting, it's like I got a new link for that. Um, that right there is my Uncle Charlie's. And this is right here is the other, uh, this is where I'm putting the motor on. Uh, it's an older Toro, I think it's a 76 or something like that. And I just made the trailer for a snowblower like that, and a couple of other shovels. Got my plows on my um, my two tractors. I traded um, my MTD uh, snowblower, a little tiny thing, for a brand new craft uh, snow plow, which was pretty good. So I'm all set for winter with those. Um, but yeah, I crashed one DLT, and I wound up actually swapping out the engine. Um, I bought this engine for like a hundred bucks or it came with an LT1000 but the uh, everything on the LT1000 was just rusted out so I got the engine for like a hundred bucks, a 19.5 turbo pool and then I wound up putting the original engine back in this this is just a 17.5 uh, Craftsman overhead valves engine nothing special about it but yeah that tractor there I actually got for free um, I had to drive down to Duxbury, Mass to drive it, to bring it to my house, but that's about like an hour and a half from Watertown. It wasn't too, too bad, so I got that for free. This one here I kind of got for free. Uh, it had a big blown motor in it. Uh, the block was trashed. It, was, it had a Cola Pro in it. Um, and then I got some nice LED headlights in there. They're actually wicked bright. I actually got on that one too. So those are ready for the winter. So my other snowblower needs a uh, new plate underneath it, the icebreaker piece. Um, I craftsman the second over here. I got um, I finally got the right wheels on it. I got the tire change in the garage. I got a new seat on it, just a boating seat I had. Um, but I got a plan is for me to um, I got to put a new alternator in the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it, but. The alternator in there is just like trash, I saw no idea getting one of those before the snow comes. But my snow blower is on it. Still runs good, still runs strong. So yeah, that's just my um, shop update. And yeah. Back in. 
And yeah, it's my shop update and project update and future projects. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.